Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're looking at using Facebook for business. On the last video we set up a, a um, business account via our personal account. So an important thing to, to pay attention to here is um, to be able to switch back and forth between your accounts. So always look at your triangle up on top here. Uh, it says use Facebook as. Currently I'm using Facebook as my personal account. How can I tell? It's got my name there, my personal name. So if I click up on the triangle, this will show the business pages I'm, I've set up. There's the business page I just made. So if I click it, it changes over, and then I see on top here, Victor's Bakery. So I'm on my business page. Um, it's very subtle, because I, I also have a name here and a home and all of that, like a regular uh, personal page. But the difference is if I go back to my personal, this says find friends, and then my name and and home. So get used to changing between accounts like that. All right, so... Um, Mine says I should complete a few things here. Add a profile picture, cover photo, contact info is set up. That's fine. That was my email. So I'm going to give this a shot. If you didn't get your picture set up, I'm going to click to upload a photo. All right, good. I can add a cover photo. I don't have one at the moment, but this will be a larger image that goes at the top for your branding. Um, I'll complete that a little later. So, one of the things you might want to do is uh, you should have a people section, invite people to like your pages. Uh, so click invite and uh, select as many as your friends that you would think that would care about your business this particular business you've set up and go ahead and invite them and you'll get more likes so that is something I recommend um, so imagine I clicked on Bobby's name and I invited him What I want to look at now are my settings. There's a bunch of settings that I want to work with on my page. So go up to settings. We have a variety of screens that we can look at. I'll go through most of them. General. So most of the time your, your defaults are fine. So I'll point out more of the ones that I would change. Page visibility, page published. You can edit any of these with edit. If I want to unpublish the page to remove it temporarily so it's not visible to everyone, I can do that. Posting ability, anyone can post to my page timeline, anyone can add photos. Here's the part about being social. If you want your customers and fans and such to post something to your page, you can allow that. What I would recommend is review posts by other people before they are shown on my page. So before anyone's um, post goes onto my page, I can uh, look at it first to approve that it's not a bad post. So I highly recommend that. If you don't want any post to your page, you can turn that off. Remember to save changes. Post targeting and privacy. If you edit that, you'll be able to change the privacy of each post that you make. Uh, for example, public or friends only, that sort of thing. I would recommend to leave that as is because you're going to have this as a public um, platform. So you want everyone to be able to, to see it. If you want uh, private messages, if um, you want a message sent to you that no one else sees, uh, you can uh, activate that or deactivate that. Allow others to tag photos and videos posted 
by Victor's Bakery. So that means I post a photo, let's say a group photo of the rest of the employees, one of the other employees can tag themselves in my photo. So if you want that, you can turn it on. You can restrict who can see, which countries that are, that is, can see your page or or target your your page to a specific country. You can also um, change age restrictions so that only certain ages can see it. Notice people have to be at least 13 years old to see a Facebook page. You can change that to a different age. You've got also alcohol related because different jurisdictions have different restrictions on alcohol. Page moderation. If you want to put in certain words here that would be blocked, if uh, if your page is controversial and and people are going to be uh, harassing, you could add certain words that uh, will be blocked. Same thing with profanity. You have different levels. Similar page suggestions. Yes, you want that. You want your page to be recommended uh, to people on Facebook that are uh, that are similar replies comments replies are turned on that means that people can reply to a reply so if some if you post something a cool picture someone replies to the picture someone can reply to that person that replied if you don't want that you can turn it off merge pages this uh, is useful for people that have created different Facebook pages and maybe we're trying to figure out how it all works and now uh, taking this class you know how it should work you can merge those pages it's all it's all done through this screen and let's say you want to give up and you don't want uh, Facebook actually you don't you don't really need it after all you can always choose here to remove the page delete your page now I did make a change up on top here so you have to remember that when you make your change uh, you click the the save button per section and then it gets saved page info you want to go through this and fill out as much as possible uh, here's where you can enter your Facebook web address I'm gonna give this a try here um, what will happen is that it will switch you over to your personal account first and then it'll allow you to change your name here so careful here it took me back to my personal account I'm gonna try the Victor's Bakery. Check availability. It is available. This is just saying if you change this, you have to keep this name. You, you own the copyright to it. You can't change it. Uh, you verify you're not acquiring the name to sell it in the future. So you need to make sure that is that, that you agree to all of that. And if you do, you can confirm. So there you go, congratulations. Now you have a uh, personal Facebook, uh, Facebook name address. So I'm going to switch back. Now it took me back to my page, but you have to be careful. Uh, you have to make sure that you're on your business page. So select there, go back to Victor's Bakery, back to settings page info so again uh, fill this out as much as you can uh, in Pressium don't worry about that that's if you're if you're in Europe long description add more uh, more description to your page the more you have there the better because people can find your page add a mission what's your page about what's the mission that you strive to to accomplish names of founders any awards, products, phone numbers. Pretty easy section here, set that up. Notifications. Uh, so if there are, if there's activity happening, 
on your page you can get an email about that email me each time there's activity so if you want to get notified when there's something new happening on your page via email you can then we've also got get a notification each time there's activity on your page or get a notification every 12 to 24 hours so again you can set that up as you wish page roles this is an important one if you have more than one person that you want to manage your page you can add their names here uh, their email address that is and then you'll you'll give them access so let's say I want to add John Smith make sure to change their option here most likely to admin because it says they'll have the same control as you they, they'll be able to make a change to every aspect of the page just like you. If you require different levels of control, you can set the different uh, levels here and see what it does. Let's just say analyst. Can see which admin created a post or comment and view insights. Pretty limited. Apps. Okay, I'm going to leave this. I didn't make any change. Apps. Uh, you can add extra features to, to, to Facebook. Uh, don't worry about that for the moment. Suggest edits. As you as you work on your site, it's, it might suggest to you, don't forget to do this, don't forget to do that. I would follow that, follow along with that. Featured, uh, don't worry about that at the moment. Mobile, you can connect with a mobile device so that, um, so that you can uh, send messages uh, via email and such. Banned users. If you've banned any users, you can see them there. And then activity log what you've what you've done on on your page now that it's active. So that was our look at our settings for Facebook. Kind of a little boring section, but you do want to fill it out as best as you can. And on our next video, we'll be talking about adding content. So come back for that.